signal for the cockpit. We are en route to Charlotte Douglas International Airport, which is a class Bravo airport. I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along and show you guys, um, you know, flying a little piston four place Mooney into CLT. So, took off this morning from Somerville, South Carolina. We filed direct. Um, we got direct initially, and then about five minutes ago, we got an amendment to our clearance. It's going to start getting busy here in a minute, so I'll go quick. But be the amendment, direct wrestling, and then proof of the wrestling three arrival, which is a simple arrival. I'll show you guys here on the iPad. So, this is our current position right there. Clear direct wrestling, which is right there. If we go to our plates here, we have the wrestling three arrival, as you can see. Um, it's a pretty simple arrival. We're cleared to wreck wrestling already, so, um, and down to 6,000. So, uh, the procedure inbound from wrestling is just direct to the uh, Charlotte VOR. So, luckily, pretty simple arrival, and uh, hopefully it's good. CLT is known to be a really good airport, really GA-friendly airport. Um, Wilson Air there, I've heard, is amazing. Um, look at all the comments on 4Flight. Um, they're all really, really good reviews, really good comments. And um, my buddy flew in there recently, said they were amazing. So um, I have uh, a business to take care of today in Charlotte. I uh, figured why not fly up and use this as an excuse to get into Wilson Air. So before we get there, before it gets too busy, I'll let you guys know too. And I'm going to make a video on this, but uh, I did pass my commercial pilot check ride, which is awesome. All right, guys. Well, looking at the weather at Charlotte right now, um, it's marginal VFR of the surrounding airports. Um, but it's only marginal for this mist. Clear below 12,000 feet, but they're claiming five statue miles of visibility at all these, all these surrounding air. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. All these surrounding airports. So I'm ready for that. I'm ready for a marginal VFR landing if I have to. Five statue miles is my personal minimum, so we're butting right up against it. Um, but that's why you set personal minimums, right? All right, here we go. So looking at the ASOS, I've got that. Um, excuse me, not the ASOS, the ATIS, the digital ATIS. They have so many frequencies for this airport. They've got two or two ATISs, one for arrival, one for departure. That's actually kind of nice, probably, so they can give you departure and arrival information on two separate ATIS. You don't have to listen to it all. I like that. Uh, they've got clearance delivery for the ground. We'll use that when we depart. They've got two ground frequencies, one for the east side of the west airport, one for the west side of the airport. Three tower frequencies. Frequencies at Unicom, I don't know, oh my god, six approach frequencies, so I can't really get ahead of the plane here, I mean, I could, I could read what I, what, uh, what to expect, but there's so many frequencies from here, so I land all approach, and then, uh, three, I'm just gonna wait it out, the notes this morning, runway 18 center, 36 center is closed, and the crossing runway 523 is also closed, except for taxiing, and there's some construction equipment, things out there that are blocking some signs that they have, uh, listed for the notes. So nothing crazy, and oh, something really cool. So my first time flying into a class Bravo and landing in an airplane, but a couple of years ago, I actually flew my paramotor to CLT. And if you guys don't know, a paramotor is a uh, part 103, it's an ultralight aircraft, it's like an engine you wear on your back. Uh, that's how this channel started, actually. Me and a, a, a bunch of other buddies flew our paramotors there. One of the guys we flew there with was a controller at Charlotte and he was the one that organized it all for us. Got we got clearance and approval from from the airport. Uh, the controllers knew we were coming, everything like that. It was really cool. So we could, we flew there, hung outside the outside the Bravo until they were in between pushes, and then we got cleared in to uh, actually fly down runway three six left uh, one eight left. But yeah, it was a really cool experience getting to fly uh, our paramotors all flight aircraft into a class Bravo and actually drag my foot on the runway. And I I wore I dragged so far that I wore holes in the front of my shoes. Um, at the bottom of my shoes. It was a really an epic experience, uh, once in a lifetime. To this day, I don't know how many people have done that. I think we were among the first, if not the only, to ever ever do what we did. So, no bucket list item for aviation for sure. They should land us on three six right, which should just be a quick taxi. I think it's Golf Golf three or Delta Delta three. What is it? Yeah, Delta. The Delta 4, Delta 5, Delta 3, right to Wilson Air. So it should be really easy taxi instructions, too. And I'll say that was one thing. Um, any, anytime you fly to any airport, you should do this, but especially a complicated class Bravo like this. 
I did a lot of homework last night before I flew here. I did really made sure I read all the notes. I read all the four flight comments to get an idea of the airport. Went through the taxi diagrams, uh, brief the approaches, the arrivals. Um, actually, wasn't expecting to get an arrival today, but kind of cool. My first time getting one assigned to me. And the Rasslin, which I like. It's uh, Romeo Alpha Sierra leaving November. Rasslin. Out of a cool arrival. There are 700 801 traffic in factory. Contact Florence Bridge 118.6. Roger on the traffic, 118.6, 7, 9, 8, 1, 1. There are 5, 3, 1, check, and it's active. Florence approach, good morning, 30, 7, 9, 8, 1, 1, 6, 000. 30, 7, 9, 8, 1, 1, Florence approach, Florence, uh, 7, 9, 3, 0, 0, 6. 0, 6, 8, 1, 1. Uh, guys, we have information, Oscar. I like the ceilings. All right, 25,000 feet, which is really nice. Um, um, many, uh, 811 turns 10 degrees left for the traffic. 10 left, 811. Number 9 or 5 kilo, contact safe, approach on 133.0. 330, okay. No point telling this approach uh, that we have Oscar, but once we get uh, switched over to Charlotte, we'll let them know we have it. What a gorgeous morning, you guys. I've, I gotta pinch myself. I really do. This is amazing. Alright, traffic looks like it's gonna be no factor. Well, the 811 traffic's now 12 till 1 o'clock, 6 miles south east, but I'm out to indicate 5,500. Roger, negative contact, but we're looking, we're looking, 811. The 811 traffic's no factor, cleared on course, contact Charlotte approach, 120.05, 2005. 2005 on course, 811. 2005, swap that. Direct 2, RAF 1, activate. Back on course, by the airplane first, we are on course, at altitude, now we contact. Approach, Moody 79 or 811, uh, direct RAF of 6000 with Oscar. Moody 79811, shuttle approach, shuttle number 3007, start on the way, 1A left. Alright, 3007, like 1A left, 79811. Man, that sucks. Wait, never mind. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking three six left. We're good. I thought he was gonna bring me on the other side of the airport. If you guys look up Charlotte, I'll show you on the screen here. If you get one if you get the right runway or the, the west runway here, look how long your taxi is all the way to Wilson Air on the other side of the airport. He said left, but I was thinking we're landing north. We're landing south, so we're good. The eight one one flight is three four zero, the center maintains five thousand, vector for the final first floor. Three four zero, can we get the altitude one more time, eight one one? We need eight one one to send the maintain five thousand. Right, three four zero to send maintain five thousand, seven nine eight one one. Alright, here we go guys. It's gonna start getting busy. Down to five thousand. Three four zero. And um, when you're on an instrument flight plan, we've already got our clearance to Charlie Lima, Charlie Lima Tango. That was our clearance limit. Uh, 99.9% .9 of the time you file IFR, you, your clearance limit is your final destination, by the way. Um, but we're cleared to CLT, so we don't need to hear those words cleared into the Bravo um, when you're on an instrument flight plan, which is cool. Well, I filed instruments today, so I wouldn't have to worry about it. They know I'm coming. They're ready for me. Get your clearance ahead of time. Makes the workload a little bit easier. So yeah, guys, up until this point here, where we just got on with Charlotte's approach, um, it has not been any different than flying to really any other, like, tower, like, last Charlie Airport, anything like that. Except for the, you know, the preparation and things like that, which you do anyway, like I said, so you just got to be ready for it. Do your homework on these bigger airports. Make sure that you're ready to, you know, take down long taxi instructions if you have to. Uh, make sure, you know, get get arrivals assigned to you like we did today. That's possible. If you don't want an arrival, you can also fly on that. You can fly on, say, uh, you know, no Sid, no Star, something like that in your, uh, in your instrument flight plan. But I did not do that because it's kind of cool to get assigned an approach, or excuse me, an arrival. And as a commercial instrument rated pilot, that should be in your, in your toolbox anyway. You should be you should be comfortable with that. So, good day to do it. First time matter, 811, turn 15 degrees left, back to the final. 15 left, 811. Alright guys, here we go. Vectors for the final. Wow. I can see Charlotte downtown. <laughs> uh. That's cool, man. Yeah. Here's the letter 811, contact approach 127.7. 27.7, 7, 7 9, 8, 1, 1. 
was gonna wrap this one up, guys. Waiting for my Uber here outside of Wilson Air. Everybody here is amazing. What an awesome experience. Um, not all that hard getting into a Bravo. Just gotta prepare and um, do what you're told. So if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to. All that jazz. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.